Okay, good evening, everybody. Happy Saturday. Um, so as you all know, we have Larissa, who is going to be our special guest tonight. She's backstage right now. Instead of saying hi to everybody individually, I don't want to keep my guest waiting or you guys waiting for this great talk that we're about to have. So hello, everybody. Uh, you know, I have the set to members, so I don't think I have to tell everybody to, to please be respectful uh, in the chat because uh, pretty much you guys are all great. Um, if you'd like to become a member to chat, there's hit the join button and um, I don't want to keep my, my guest waiting much longer backstage. It's going to be a great live. Larissa is going to be super forthcoming and I can't, and we're working out logistics. There we go. I can't wait for it to start. So with all that being said, hello, everybody. I'm going to start my um, intro and then we're going to get into it. And then I, if I could find it. Hi, Larissa. Hi. <laughs> Welcome. Nice Thank to see you. you. How nice are you doing? You. Doing good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you look great. I'm so happy to have Thank you back you. with us. You know, me and Larissa kind of started at the same time on IG. So we were like this. Yeah. Long time. <laughs> Long time. Me and Larissa have been at it. Uh, so... There's a lot, a lot of stuff to go over. Let's, you know, I have a bunch of questions, so let's let's get into it and not keep uh, not keep people waiting. Um, so, Larissa, what is like your status with immigration right now? Like, are you are you okay? Can you travel? What's what's up with that? Okay, so I got arrested by ICE. I don't know if you guys remember. And a lot of people say that was uh, that was fake. She want attention. Larissa, Eric, and Carmen <laughs> was that that the trio that they want attention. She want attention. Never got arrested. I got arrested, and I have a process to leave the country, right? But as a good citizen, I am now. I pay my taxes. I don't have any any story with the court anymore. My background is clean. And so the judge dropped it. The, uh, how can, it's not a lawsuit. It's like he um, request to you leave it. A deportation order. That's the right word. So as a good citizen now, they cancel the, my deportation. And after, I guess, was in February, February, <laughs> I, uh, I got my green card. Cool, congratulations. So can, yeah, so I can travel now. I was planning to travel this last year, but it didn't work. But maybe in August, and so you guys you're don't not, know why. You don't have to worry about like getting deported or anything like that now. Are you out of the, you know, you're in the clear? Yes, I mean the clear side. Um, thank you, Biden. <laughs> <laughs> My love. <you. laughs> so yes, so now I don't need to be worried, and each case is different. And I know, for for example, when I got arrested by ICE, people say, "Oh, what's fake, right?" By TMZ asking me the docs because you you don't leave it there. Hi, see you later. You live with the documents. You live with the first court appearance. So they ask me to send that there and to them, and they say, "Okay, it's not a publicity stunt. Was real. Was very serious." That was that was right. you know, and like that was like you know, right before you that were day, supposed uh, to be moving to Colorado, right? Like the day, yeah, before. <laughs> one day before. <laughs> and you already posted like, like you moving with the move. And this is before like your first time moving to Colorado. Yeah, that's the reason now I think I got a PST, PSTD uh, over it. Even I'm safe 
Every time that I'm traveling or move, I say I'm moving to New York, but I'm moving to Colorado. I'm moving to Texas. I'm gonna say I'm moving to Missouri. I don't know. I I got a so. I don't know. So like, I don't want people to know where I'm going. Just when I'm there, safe in 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 the place. I don't know. Yes, you have two speeds: Las Vegas and Colorado. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, <laughs> but I'm planning to 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 buy a house in Texas. But I'm not Why sure Texas? if I want to live here. Why Texas? Because with three hundred twenty thousand dollars, you can buy a mansion compared to Las Vegas and Colorado. Colorado, you buy a normal house for four hundred eighty. Do you understand? So in Texas, you can live with large for less. Oh no, I live in the like the most expensive area probably in the country. I'm like you know New York City area and the suburbs are like it, it's it's rough. So I I get I totally understand that. Even me and Cody were talking last night about like you know maybe moving somewhere where it's cheaper and you live and you live better. Exactly, John. In Texas, for if you want to choose to live through rent, you can live in like open space with a bed in your for 1,600. So it's insane in there. And every time Eric say, don't tell people, they're gonna move it to Texas. <laughs> no, my house is there. <laughs> but it's just Texas because like, you know, it's 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 more affordable. You're not going to Texas because somebody's there waiting for you, or is there? No, is there, is there I wish there on the other end? John, I'm in DTF, I don't get one match. I got a ban it, I got a block it, people blocking me. People ban it. I got a ban it for Tinder and Bumble. And he wait, you got, they, you got booted from Tinder and Bumble? Exactly. And Why? He, he, they lifted the ban because I say, please, please, I'm banned to all the dates happy. Help me, please, 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 please. I send the thousands of tweeters and they they direct messages, they unban me on Hinge. I don't know, they think I'm faking because the photo. I don't know. I I don't know. They always ban ban me, and I don't speak a lot, so I'm more communicative through voice than through text. I barely speak through text, and I when some guys was uh why don't you speak a lot? I do a bot. I don't know. They 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 might report because they think it, this is odd. Okay. All right. So um, first off, I'm so happy that you finally got your green card. Like that must've been a tremendous relief to not know if you like, you know, you were going to get to like, that must've been like off your shoulders. You had to have felt like amazing after that happened. Exactly. And John, the most funny thing is now I want to live in Brazil. <laughs> now I want to, to like, I, I, I have the plan to move to Texas, but I don't want to live through rent anymore. Because I spent so much money renting and moving in the car. And, oh, it was a, a waste of time. So, but in the same time, I think he, I want to spend like six months in Brazil, see how the things go, spend time with my family, you understand? Well, you, you haven't been back to, you know, to Brazil since like you left, like, you know, you know, when the first season that you're on, right? Like you, you've been uh, four years, I guess. Four no, years. it's, is it, I think it's longer than that. 2018. I want to say. Well, let's see. 19, 20, 21, 20, <gasps> five years. It's been a while. <laughs> um, wow. So you just mentioned you wanted to go back to see, you know, your family in Brazil. And like, you know, I know, and you know, and everybody in this chat knows and people that are watching now like that you get the most heat because people say, you know, why isn't she with her kids? You know, why, why does she want to be here and not there? So what do you say to that? Exactly. Um, I don't watch 90 day anymore, but I have someone there that say, oh, I don't want my kids here because it's gonna be an inconvenience. Then my friend from Brazil was, why you get the hate? Why this person say this? Do you understand? Like, and everybody, oh, great, she's a great mother. 
many times in the show I say, I don't want to show my kids. I don't want to speak it about it because they are minors. And here in US don't have laws, right? That protect you. You you suffer a lot with this. So yes, I got a most of the hate. Like any other girl, oh my god, poor girl. Oh like lost the custody. I never lost the custody of my kids. I breastfeed until three, four years. You understand? Like I I I, I get the hate I believe in mostly because I don't Am I frozen or is it she? Who froze? Someone's froze. Am I frozen? What the heck? Okay. Am I frozen? Or is it, is yeah, it yeah. Am I frozen? I'm back. Mm. Sorry. Okay. I was freaking out. Go ahead, Go ahead Larissa. Sorry. Okay. So I think it because I don't speak about it and a heavy, for example, I didn't have the choice to speak. I frozen now. You're good. You're good. Go ahead. Okay. So because I didn't have the chance to show to the whole, because I believe it has two types of audience that is, that follow the show, the audience that watch and they really don't care what you're doing on social media and the people through the social media that each thing they go through, they want to know, they believe everything they read. So because they didn't have the chance to speak it, on the show about my kids, I get most of the heat because anybody else, oh, somebody lost the custard because it was misread the kids. Oh, poor girl. Oh, my goodness. Poor, 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 poor girl. I don't want to be around my kids because it's a convenience. Oh, God. But who got the hate? Me. <laughs> so to answer like these people's questions, like do you, do you, you have contact and, you know, it's not like you, you've forgotten about your kids and you no, don't. I I just don't have a contact with my son, but I I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do to explain the best way because his father did something very bad, and I mean because I make money in US, I'm kind of afraid of the the consequences of he see me posting iPad that here is the one thousand dollars right. Exactly. It's one thousand dollars I paid here, but in my account it's five thousand. It's six thousand. Depending on your model, you put the Wi-Fi. Everything there is three, four times. So I'm kind of afraid that I need to go to my country on honestly and have a conversation face to face. Do you understand? Um, it is in a situation you cannot deal online or with money, like, oh, I'm sending money. No, you need to. I, I want to do legally a lot of things to save myself, save, save my kids, you know. So you're not the person, like, you know, you you do have an interest in your child's lives. And... Oh, yes. Uh, my daughter is my, like, I uh, every day that I speak, I... She just got a, a cat that I gave it to her for Christmas. And I it's the thing that I'm alive is because of my kids. I thought many, many times, John, you know, in some situations, when I got a fired, you guys think like, oh, was everything flowers? <sighs> it was terrible. The situation that happened. Like a lot of people was like a domino effect. A lot of people got a in a bad position through me, Eric sold his house. Oh, what a small house. It was not a big house. No matter, it was the house that he purchased himself. So I felt this thing in my shoulder and I thought many, many times, not because of God of fired, but after everything, I, I don't want to live anymore. You know, I do adult content and the adult content that I do, people say, you deserve it. You deserve to be leaked. Women subscribe to my my subscription Only platform. Yes, subscription. Uh, I don't know if you can say, but no, I can say subscribe it. Yeah. Subscribe to my. One of my mods shot the link for um Larissa's uh, OnlyFans. <laughs> so they go to my OnlyFans and they send me DMs. Hey, I'm leaking your content. How are you gonna make money now? So isn't the income the great? So uh, 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 I suffer a lot of this hate in in everybody, John. 
Cody and everybody that's watching, they can make poor. They can make adult content. They, no, they are entrepreneur. They are great. If the I do, oh, she's nasty. Oh, she's abandoning her kids anyway. Oh, she deserves this. You understand? I think like he, I, I thought a lot of the times, don't be here, but thankfully I'm a very religious, a religious person and I have the funds to find a doctor and take my medicine and go back to my family and friends. So because my kids, I, I, I don't want this, this thing to my kids understand. I want today remember me as like, wow, my mother went to US, she raised us from two, some age, but guess what? She has a house, she's driving, she has a career. That doesn't need to be adult content. I mean, later I speak, I'm trying to be back to college. So I want to remember me like, yo, my mother has a house that I can visit anytime. Do you understand? My mommy pay my, my college, not someone that give it up. Um, so it sounds like you have a, you know, a good relationship with Luana. Like now, um, we could have just yeah. asked, like, you know, did your ex turn your son against you? Like is like, uh, the one that we just spoke of. No, he sent the, the, how a father sent the birth certificate to another person that leaked for everybody. Do you understand? The first season of the, the show, birth certificate. You, yeah, you guys don't know. We get paid very low. So me with my ex-husband, I say the best thing to guarantee the second season, the third season, as we go to Brazil, and we speak about my kid as anyone know, like you never hear about it, okay? And we agree with that. So people thought like she was hidden, she was lying. No, for, for lying is when you say something. I didn't say, I mean, I'm talking about the big, the big audience that they show, do you understand? Because I want to, to talk with my family. I want to, to they, they show the footage. Do you understand everything? Not to only say, oh, I have the kids. And to give like Larissa credit there, like, you know, back when she was on the first season of 90 Day with Colt on that their first season, like I had that person send me the birth certificate. Yeah, it don't help me. <laughs> yeah, the birth, birth certificate in, it's like, yeah, I could not talk myself. So my friend helped me, Carmen, what she could by that time. Carmen helped me, but it was a nightmare. It was fakes they made. And they made, they report her address. Report her address to us, report her address. Oh, look at her kids here, poor kids, don't have what to eat, and she's eating. You understand? Yeah. Like, what's was just like a nightmare and i don't see this happen with any other cast member anyone somebody can come and say i don't want to raise my kids oh great look she's a great mother because she says she doesn't want to raise her kids but look larissa that's an even safe thing similar i get the most hate over there so you you know you're you miss your kids, like you know. People like want to paint you as like the devil for someone who is just you know has has children and she's not with them and like you know we see it like you know so it's and Joel just remember that when I came to US, I came to live with my ex mother law, my ex husband. I'm not blaming them, but it was a touchy situation. Do you understand, like. I'm not blaming coach, I'm not blaming dad. I'm just saying, like, I never take my kids out of Brazil to put me in this situation. Do you have okay. any plans on bringing them here to the States? Okay, so I need to go to Brazil, see how everything is going, because I got to raise it without any siblings. Oh, siblings I have. I got to raise it without um, cousins, no one. 
because my father was uh, was from the army, so we traveled the whole Brazil. I live in 14, 14, 13 states of Brazil, okay? So I cannot just take them for the, the life and say, come to live here with me. Do you understand? I want to figure right. out first my uh, house, if I'm gonna buy a house here or come back to Brazil. And I'm taking my driver's license. So I don't drive yet in US. I, I'm, I start now in December. You study for like 24 questions and then you do the the test, the MV. So I even drive. So how can I? Okay, go to school, go to school. The emergence. So I want to figure out my life here now because I, before I joined, I could not figure out my life here. I was locked with ice. Well, it was pretty, you know, you didn't have a, a good start, you know, obviously here, you know. Uh, exactly. I, I was. I could not do anything, make any plan in the US. Before I have a court, can you imagine if my court was like, was not like she has a court. It was like, I have a court and next month I get a letter. Oh my God, I don't want to see this letter. I don't want to see this letter. Your court is one week. Okay, one week I'm gonna leave the US. So I'm gonna sell everything, do. Okay, then December, last year, do you understand? It was like not easier. The, all the no, I know, I, I know, I know the timeline. Yeah, God. Yeah. What well, well, was I always always living through the the like the line, the border, stay or go, stay or go. I I I felt. I told my therapist many times. I felt like I can move. I can do anything. I can study. I can learn anything because it's like the last day of me here. Do you understand? Was um like when you mentioned to cult like you know and this is going years back ago but I don't think I've ever asked you this like was cult open and De well cult and Debbie were they open to bringing your kids here were they like on board with that like when you were a cult a million years ago so I don't remember but he, uh we never spoke about this we are in the very very uh, not very bad like poverty but we were struggling. Like what we gonna do of our lives here? Do you understand first? And well, then I started to ask. No air conditioning, remember? Like he picked you up with no flowers. Exactly. And, and no, and the car in Vegas with no air conditioning. So yeah, I don't <laughs> want to blame me coach or Debbie. Is I not blame me then? But was a thought situation that I don't think he, I I I think I was sending money. I I remember I asked coach, do you have three hundred dollars? <laughs> So I sent it to Brazil and he yeah, he sent flowers to I I, I he, he helped me. He helped me to send the money to Brazil by that time. But I don't think it is what discussed like hey Larissa, do oh coach, I want to bring my kids here. I, I was so like I was already arrested <laughs> the first time. So I was like God. Well, that's how me and you became. Well, I got you on the second arrest. That's how me and you became friends. When you were like in the second arrest, when you were in the bathroom, that's how me and you started talking. Like, that what? Arrest What's happening? Happening? Yeah. <laughs> John, that arrested my case got a bit nice. So, my first arrest, I got arrested. The second case got a denied. Like, the prosecutor did not accept it, the thing because. All the calls were on my behalf. All the calls are on my behalf. All, all, I posted things in my behalf. So has no way I was the aggressor in that situation. You understand? But anyway, it's the past. Like no sense, no villains. Well, I, I you know, I just want like, you know, two things, you know. So for clarity's sake. Um, like you do have, you, you do, you are, you're in contact with your kids and you do support them. And unlike what people are saying on the internet. That yeah. Yeah. Yes. Because they think, Joan, just because I make it thousands of dollars, I'm enrolling. I'm like, okay, guys, no, I pay the taxes. It's thousands and thousands of dollars to pay the taxes. I also, I ate, I need to maintain another thing. Oh, but she got a surgery. Guys, if you are on TV, a doctor approach of you and say, what's your dream? 
I right, well, let's, let's, that's a good segue. Let's let's get off the kids for yeah. a second and move to the to the, that's the other it's issue. No, but because they they see me doing things, they well, think that, oh she doesn't care. That's but a good segue. I'm gonna myself, right? You have been getting a lot of heat. I think like you're the first thing you get about is the kids. And second is the plastic surgery. So, that I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a good. I'm done. And in, into that, like, um, you know, uh, I know that you were planning. Like, I'm, you know, I'm looking at the girls there. Um, it's yeah. A lot. So what that happened, Joe? In Brazil, I used to run five kilometers per day in Brazil. But once I moved here and started to film me, I never, if you guys don't know, I never filmed one season and went to sleep. And three months later, I filmed another season. I filmed one season after another, one season after another, one season after another. I never got a three months without filming me with the show or coach. So when I was on television, so I start to get to like, sedentary don't take care of my body and i thought yeah i want to be honest well if i can make my boobies bigger or my butt bigger my glutes is bigger why should i work out even though i have a health lifestyle in my country no it's gonna take six months uh -uh, i want this right now then i got a bit chance to do and i overboard this i agree but now I mean, back into the gym, back to do exercise, and I don't want to be like a freak show. Do you understand, Joe? All right, she has to. And Larissa, gym. like I love you, like you know, I really do. I care for you, like you know, I. But like I, you know, it was you were getting like a little carried away. Exactly. So I don't. I I look at myself and I say, no, we're not. We're not mad, Colty. I don't have filters. I don't have makeup. <laughs> I don't have nothing. And he liking me. So why do I need to have boobs or curvilicious body? Well, why do I need all those things? No, I don't need I'm using cult as a comparison. Like, it's not the best because uh, it's cult. But I, I see what you're saying. Because he was my love. Like, Eric too. Because I just have a cult in Eric. Or I talk about one or another. <laughs> but you, like, to... I think it's very important that like you that you yourself are saying, like, you know, I got you got carried away with it. Like, you know, and exactly no. And, and think it fully, John. Think it fully, like I have big boobs, but I still I don't know how you can normal. walk upright with those. On no, your I chest. still I don't know normal. how you can walk. <laughs> John, I still normal, nobody point, nobody look like crazy, no. It's big, but it's not ridiculous big. I think he fully my doctor stopped me because I want to go bigger. And he said, no, I'm not going to do, I'm not going to do. I even want the size, but because you are a good patient, you bring the patients to us, you are a good person, Larissa, I'm going to make your dreams come true. But I don't agree. I don't want. So now I'm going to make it smaller. I'm going to make like 400 because I'm doing the size. So it's very hard to do some exercise the specific chester for me so i mean i spoke to them i spoke to my doctor i explained everything and my doctor say okay take the six months that you are losing the weight you are toning your body and it's after six months we speak because you're gonna get more skinner right and the boob is gonna settle more but if you really want if you really want we're gonna make it smaller again <laughs> but in six months so let me say i mean thinking like august so i'm talking to brazilian doctors and i'm talking to my dr smith my doctor because i remember like but you know, he, when he you never got those, he when never you got those you were like i'm gonna go bigger yeah. still and i was like oh my god <gasps> no fully, oh, i'll be a freaking show and like i say when i was with the I was without makeup, I was not no job, nothing in my face, and he liked me. Eric too, when I met him, I was transitioned to the full makeup, but Eric liked it. My boobies so were listen, Larissa, small. I hear that Colt liked you the way you were. I mean, I liked you the way you were. I'm like, I was like not a romantic interest in your life, but like, so Colt <laughs> liked you the way you were. 
Eric liked you the way you were. What what made you like? I don't want to say go so drastic because you look amazing. You're beautiful. But like what what made you like really like? Uh, what made me was because when I was young, I was so skinny. And in Brazil, is a country that the women has big boobs, big butt, you know, it's so much skinny, so much skinny. And I always see the guys that I was with, Coach and Eric, watch adult movies. So I say, huh, yeah, I watch adult movies because they like the way the girls look like, right? So I'm going to I mean, myself. but God, like, you know, I've seen a couple of and adult low... movies. I don't have Cody, like, you know, <laughs> like, <I don't> have... <laughs> Cody, Cody is but, my, but, but my, my mind, <laughs> bo body dysmorphia is something very serious. Body dysmorphia is something very, very, very serious. I know people yes, make fun serious. of Darcy. Right. I know people make fun of Darcy and Stacey, but guys, this is very serious. They can die in, in a procedure. Think fully. I choose to come back to my to my weight that I was when I arrived here and do exercise. Joe, if I didn't say I'll do crazy and crazy things, like taking off a rib I want to do with just the, the back exercise, you can make your uh, your back so beautiful, look so beautiful. So anyway. I think he, I will go deeper and deeper. Do you understand? If he, my doctor do not, don't do, I will go. Do. Why? Because I was on television too. So I need to have this character. Like, I want to do surgeries. I don't care. Do you understand? I was also part of the character that I was morphing. I, I'm just do happy that I, you know, I'm not happy. I, you know, that you're, that you know, that this is, you know, what you're no, going it's, through. And, it's dangerous. And like, like, I'm so like ecstatic to hear, like, you know, you say these things and like, it, it's stuff that we were all thinking, but even me as your friend, like I was afraid to tell you, cause I don't want, yeah. I didn't want to hurt you or get you mad at me, but I, like, I, I was worried. Like, I think a lot, yeah. a lot of people. A lot of things, Joe, I just solved it. Feelers in my face had solved feelers. I mean, try. I mean, I stop it a while to post in my Instagram because I'm studying for the driver's license. I'm doing another thing. I make my in the peak peak college here to start to improve my English. So I'm doing so many things in the back that I don't post anymore. But I'm trying to don't show to people a face full of filters that look like completely different i'm trying to do more natural and i don't know wow i'm gonna stop to use those filters I, I want to show people like if you see yourself it is way you want to look that way and if you have the money you're gonna go through this so i dissolve a lot of my fillers in my face i dissolve it i just have in the lips and botox when i smile what was um um MTC, so like, what was like the turning point? When did you realize like that you had to stop? It was, it's, it's a good question. Like, what, 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 when, when where I, were you? Okay. When I realized I need to stop it, when I stopped back to the gym and I gained 20 pounds over sedentarism, over do not go to the gym because I was recovering for surgery. Then you need to recover. And spend three months. And nah, I already has a big bug. Why I need to work out? And the time passed and time passed. So when I came back to the gym, I tried to do Chester. I tried to do some exercise and I couldn't because my boobies, but even though it's not They're like, a giant. Larissa, how do you even yeah. walk? Like, I'm sorry. Like, those are. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no. They, they, are, they, are, they are not that, that big. They, they are. A, Actually, even is a little bit smaller when I put. It's because it is here make a little bit more, more big. But in the gym, nobody look, nobody points. So when I started to look at those girls that has huge breath and huge glutes, I say, I don't want to be like that. I don't want to look like that. God, this is this is this is crazy. Like, Let me ask you a question. Is, is mental health? 
You know, what I'm saying? you know, I think another couple of people on the cast and I, you know, and I like these people and I hate to bring this up right now, but I have to because it's it's relevant. Uh -huh. What do you think of Darcy and Stacy with all their procedures? Do you think that they're like on the same, that they were on the same path as you? Do you think that what they're doing is healthy? I, I like them. I like Darcy. I, I, like I like them like too. I, I like them too. But that's all. There's also a lot of talk. But I saw a form of plastic surgery addictive. Ad, ad, addictive. No, I don't know the name. Someone that was addicted to plastic surgery. I see them as a character, as I was. So, yes, we are doing procedures. Okay. But I also see a mental healthy situation of body dysmorphia like me like i told my doctor once my boobies they said no i don't agree you're never gonna do this not with me and i wait in a saddle and i start to do exercise and i say wow he was right so i i don't see them do exercise even to maintain the body you need to do exercise oh my water plastic don't need it no is, is what you need most so I think it's character to they get the attention because who who are you gonna talk about them? They are nice women. They they have a nice relationship, right? I, I guess so. I think the plastic is something to be talking about, like I was doing. So I'm talking about them, guys, because I was like that. And today I can see through the veil, like wow. No. So do you think they, they have like a problem? Yeah, I think they have a body. I do too. Morphine. I'm not gonna leave you. I'm not I'm not gonna yeah. leave you have to dry. I do too. You know, and I, I like them. I thought, I like and I them, thought you did too, to be honest. Yeah. And exactly. I love I love and, you. And I, and I say, yeah, and I say I, I had body dysmorphia. Now I want to another thing, John. When you are you go through plastic surgery, don't think that you do exercise and be fit, you don't gonna have body dysmorphia. You can develop uh, develop it too because you can get strong and strong. So I need to watch this. It's not that I'm a curant, but I need to watch now through the exercise so I don't get in the other way. Do you understand? I think when you have the body, it's more than it's work yourself, but always gonna have. It. But you can love yourself in a different way. Do you understand? So I'm talking, guys, because I know what I have what i had by that time that was stronger than now do you understand and you're like how old are you now larissa i mean 30. i say i'm 30 forever oh, 30. Okay. um <laughs> but, yeah. but, but, I, know that, I mean i know that darcy and stacy are a little, a little bit older than than you are um you know i know that you're still in your 30s at least uh 30s, yeah. uh you know and i i, I see them like um and but I don't. I, that's, I don't want to make it about them. I it just like I'm happy. I'm really happy to hear like you, that you know what you're going through, and you know now you're trying yeah. to like correct it. And and even now, John, I took it off my extensions. I removed my fillers. I'm going to the gym, and uh, it's for me. You know, for me, I want to be back to that Larissa that run five kilometers per day. I want to. I want to. I want to be back and and uh I want to show this to people that yes it is not it's not like you cannot do plastic you should if you can you should to to make it what you are happy but it try to be perfect is body dysmorphia because look John I did so many plastics that I didn't want it do you understand and like well well, so then it's so like, this is the most genuinely happy, real, and relatable, and mentally healthy I've ever seen Larissa. Thank you. And I have to like, you know, <laughs> I'll give a bell on that one. Because I have to agree. Because Larissa, you scare me a lot of times. And yeah, I know. Joan, Joan, Joan. <laughs> you do. Joan, look, if you don't love yourself, love your kids, or love your parents. How will you go to under Anastasia so many times? Like I did like it 10 times under general Anastasia. Like my doctor, he did all the procedures. He tried to be safe. He told me many times, no, 
no, we stopped it. But John, I did leave lipo in my knee, in the side of my knees. And Larissa, can you like expand maybe like, you know, what, you know, maybe like, maybe not for your angle, but like, you know, with the cast, like, you know, with the plastic surgeries, are y'all paying for like the plastic surgery or, or is there like, you know, is there like, you know. Yes, I, I pay, I pay, I, I pay mostly of the full price. procedures. Not a full, pro, full price, but <laughs> I guess. I will lie, I will lie, you know, you see the body language. Okay. There it is. I will be honest. Guys, so I didn't pay the full price, but I pay for the surgery. So when surgery is $20,000, how much you pay? 12, 14, like 10. You understand? But I never pay like 1,000. Right. So, so, like, so yeah. how much money? I could do something great. I could, oh, Joe, like it's a hood awakening. <laughs> like bad to say in the show it's a whole awakening when you people around me try to stop i know eric is not perfect we're gonna go through this but he always say please do exercise please do exercise don't do don't do it don't need don't need don't need don't need please 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 and now eric it becomes my character it's, it's my you understand my character now i need to be this crazy woman that do plastic in. And I could I've myself never seen you so like alert before. Mm -hmm. Like you are like, you're there. Like I like you know you are like I I feel like you've come a long way, Larissa. And yeah, you no, are no, like, but, but I I don't know if you can see the, the the chat, but people are seeing it. Like you, you're like a different person to be honest. Like I'm like I'm a like you know, like you're like brand new. Like, like I. I'm so happy to to hear like what's coming out of your mouth right now. Like I like I, it's thank you. Yes, and I feel sad. We're gonna go through this because I had a chance to show more people and help more women. I I, I wish I could help more women to they see the beauty. Your boob is not up like mine because I want it up, okay? <laughs> but you do it doesn't even matter. You are beautiful the same way. Who are coaching? Why I say about coach? Because the coach was married for a short period of time. I was married. He liked me the way that I was. And what is the most beautiful love thing that somebody loves? My 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 girl. <laughs> Did you remember? Well, like this. He loved it. So why I put in my mind that I need this? That's what I ask myself every day. Why I put in my mind that I need? What was lacking? love me well what was wrong with me but i think it was the show i want to be that character you understand well you know you were like on the biggest tv show on cable yeah. and with with that came like you know a lot of opportunities and like a lot of like attention and yeah. i i kind of feel like you know you were just doing what you needed to do like you know look at the other reality TV shows. look at the people on jersey shore like all, with all the stuff they get done yeah. you know look at, look at the housewives with all the work they get done so I kind of feel like you, you you felt like you were following suit because you know that's your new life and you you know yes my new life I want to show all the women too like yo you know you can do plastic but because I come to a country that we do exercise we don't stay in the bed okay I did my butt <laughs> so I start to realize like Larissa this can you you can you can wake up one day. Well, you cannot wake up one time. So I think it's a mental health issue, to be honest. It's a mental health that I'm working it, No, it, it definitely is. It yeah. definitely is. And, um, you know, I know that you struggle with it. Um, I, you know, I certainly have. <laughs> so, like, with mental health, <laughs> like, you know, we, we both of us have been there, you know, and um, we've both been there for each other. And that's why I love you yeah. even more because, you know, who, you know, we, we, we've depended on each other, like when we need each other the most. And like, you know, what, what I can say about Larissa is that like Larissa, we've been friends for what, seven years. And like, you know, when she's feeling down, we'll talk. When I'm feeling down, she'll, we'll talk. And like, we're always trying to. I disappear sometimes now. I mean, I disappear sometimes because we're going to go to this topic and I live with the Eric. 
and some days it's good, sometimes it's hard, you know. Well, let's get into that. Um, all right. So obviously, like a couple of weeks ago, you know, you did a story where you were upset and in the hotel and, you know, things weren't going well with Eric. So what is the situation with Eric? E? The situation was I was leaving Las Vegas and I got a great opportunity. You guys are going to find out in a while. In a and, second. Uh, Exactly. <laughs> and uh didn't work and I have to move heart, heart and hell and having to this. And I got a kind of heartbroken. So when I'm like this, I like to hide and grow from this. So his mommy passed. His mommy was Debbie too. She was a sweet heart. My Never mom's name, you know what's funny? My mom's name was Debbie. Wow, Debbie, Debbie, and Debbie. <laughs> my mom, seriously, my mom's name was Deborah. Debbie. Debbie. That, you know, that's crazy. Everyone's mom's name is Debbie. Yeah, so say all the my, Debras my uh, are in the, in, the, in, the, in the heaven. Oh, we, she froze again. Uh oh. Is it me or her? Code. Is it me, Cody? Can you tell? Uh -oh. Okay. Okay. So yes. Yeah, so all the Debbies we know, uh, besides Debbie Johnson, that she's alive, is in heaven. So she passed, and he, we, he, uh, we moving to his mommy house. So we move as friends, but sometimes we kissed in the in the past, like November we kissed, and Eric is a young guy. He's I'm thirty six. He's 30. So I know that's not about age because some people have 20. They already like has the life together. But I think he wants to live this crazy life and have how many girls he wants. And he was the only guy that, he, the only no. I have a, I have a relations here too, too, with two men in the US. Three, Coach, Eric, and another guy. So, but he was the person. No. In the US, three three persons. I, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for you to laugh. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so Eric you was someone that I get this nurturing feeling of more than a boyfriend, more like a friend. Do you understand, John? A friend that he took out of me, but he's mean sometimes. I don't know why. Sometimes he's mad. And he said, you need to leave it. Get out of my house. <laughs> in that time, I showed to everybody what happened. But people bashed me because they say, oh, she's asking for money. No. Well, do you feel like Eric? I know, wasn't you, but obviously, like, you know, I remember, like, you know, when you met him at, like, well, you know, that stripper club. What was it? Like, uh, the cats no, meow? We, we, we met it through Carmen. Which we'll get to in a second. But, like, um, you know, like, it seemed like you were the one that brought him into the limelight, which you were, you know, Eric, you know, he was unhappily with you, right? He was yeah. doing the reunions with you, you know, it, he was on TV, and um, exactly. you're the but one that John, put him there. Yes, but, John, I accept that the feeling of the Eric going to meet my kids my family in Brazil is not going to happen. I take a plane and go to New York and meet you or go to New York, the Times Square. It's not going to happen with Eric. I need to do the things myself. I need to find my path. Do you understand? I think like the same way Carmen helped me, but have a don't fall at some point. And I think Eric is the same and I'm just in, uh, holding what I should to just, okay. You understand? That's the reason I'm talking about Texas. But first, I need to learn to drive. I can't just leave without the driver's license because how am I going to pack all my stuff? Do you understand? So well, he's, I, he's, I would say like that he was like, you know, you're a sense, like you're a security blanket. Like, you know, after exact, all you went through John, with Colt. Joe, Zach, Joe, I was in love with you, Colt. Nobody believes it, but until today, I have a dream with Coach Vanessa and I. So oh, I really love it, Coach. And Eric, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> and Eric say, oh, you love it, Coach. 
No, it's because I was married. I, I, I like I think he's I think he's handsome. Do you understand? But he didn't work. He's so long a time. So he was exactly my security, my you know, like oh my god, now I I got fired. Who was next to me? But I understand that no matter what he did good, he cannot keep in doing those bad things, right? So I need to find my path. I need to. Carmen helped me. Carmen was a great friend. We argued, but it's like now I need to live in good terms with Eric. Well, are you guys? Not, so, what's your like current situation with him? Like friends? We are, are you friends. living? Are you living together? Yeah, but he lives in his room. I live in my room. Oh, Larissa. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't, don't, we don't kiss nothing. I'm like John. I'm, I'm like two brothers, two siblings. I mean, okay. Um, but see, so I understand John. No matter because now I'm here, he's have the right to kick me out because he loves to do this. Well, that's not a place you want to be, Larissa. If he has the right to kick you out whenever, like when you're not, like that's not a great situation. I agree. But Joe, I see he's my best friend. And you know, when you have a best friend, that's me. It's the same way. Sometimes he's good too. Well, he, you know, I wouldn't. Hmm. <laughs> no, you can tell. <laughs> like, no, I would not consider him a best friend. Like, I, you know, if if anybody I would consider a best friend would be Carmen or me. Like, you know, and like, no, we, but, we but never met. I'm just but saying, like, you know, too. calling him a, a best friend. Not, I would Carmen would be a best friend, and you know, not no, not agree. Eric. Yeah, John Vanessa too. Vanessa sending me tests every day, and I have my other friend Julia. She's from Canada. Vanessa, Vanessa, said, that's the reason I had a dream with her. I have a sexual dream with Vanessa. <laughs> I know. I, I you, you seem to keep talking. Was it gr good? Because like you know, you're like keep talking. No. Keep what the heck? Coach Vanessa and I were were in, in the in the in the watcher show, and Vanessa told me she wants to talk to me, and she started to kiss me and touch me, and I say no, Vanessa. Are you crazy? <laughs> then coach say to Vanessa, foul, foul. And uh, the last thing in my dream was, Eric, please, please, you need to believe in me to sign me, Eric. Believe in me, believe in me. What? Eric, don't call the cops. Please, just come to the hotel. <laughs> I met Colt and Vanessa. I met Colt and Vanessa. And Vanessa fell and coach is accusing me. Was the dream. <laughs> But also oh, hours of you. You, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I dream is Vanessa kissing Vanessa. <laughs> you know, have you have you talked have like when's like the last time you spoke to like you know Colt or Debbie or Vanessa or any of them? Vanessa, uh, Vanessa speak every day. You talk to Vanessa Colt, every day. Every day. That's no wonder why you're thinking really about her. Okay, happy. now that makes more sense. No, that makes more sense. Like, I, I thought, like, you know, you had no contact with any of them. So, like, the fact that no, you speak to them every I, day, I, that, that's I, new. I, Hold on. Uh, Hold on. Wait, I have, I have a banner for that. Hold on. Give me, give me one second. <laughs> you speak to Vanessa every day. Every day. That's the reason I'm having dreams. Now that dreams makes today. sense. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> so, and how long has that been for? Like, how long have you been talking with her like that? Vanessa went to my apartment in, in Las Vegas, too. Uh, she's a very good parent. Oh, I don't feel sad. Because I spoke so many bad things about her. Well, like uh, if if I remember correctly, um, <laughs> I remember Vanessa giving Colt the Groupons for the massages <laughs> back when you were still married. Yeah, but we cannot blame Vanessa because oh, she so who are we blaming? Colt, Colt is the blaming one. Oh. Colt, stay with me forever. No, he liked her. They match. I need to accept this, right? 
they met and, and the relationship was already bad when they have police like just if the, the couple go to extremely deep therapy can survive it through this you understand john and and all the women send a message to him was very bad so i think he saw vanessa I'm not, like i see eric like i see eric don't i, I not say eric is this person you understand he says that he, he the person he loves and she loves him well <laughs> Okay, like, um, like that's 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 news to me. Like, but like that's great. That like, what about you and Debbie? How's that? Like Debbie, Debbie cold too. Cold. Debbie, every time she send me messages, she visit me too. Before I remove all my my fakey fakey stuff from my my glutes, I remove it, and she visit me too. But the thing is, John, why not? Is don't take photo? Why don't post? Because I'm not aware. So did you remember the Larissa, right? That any other girl can say, uh, I don't have my kids. Okay, great, great mother. Can you imagine if I take a photo of Deb Vanessa and post? She wants attention. Oh, did you see? She's forgotten. Now she got attention. So I don't want they think also like Larissa is friend of us because they show, because we are the, in television. So I never ask them photos or anything. Ooh, that's some tea right there. Okay, so my next question for you is that um, um, you were supposed to be back on TLC, correct? And you had a yes. possibility with another cast member. Can you explain? Like, so we are not. All right. Before I ask that. Had so you, I got the email. Like so, we we covered you getting fired from TLC because of the cam soda, right? Yeah, right. Like that was exactly. like back in twenty twenty. Um, and then um, TLC was it last year? Gave you like another chance? Exactly. Another. So before people say, "Oh, she's lying." Oh no, guys. Joe Yates heavy. The receipt, and he can confirm it's fake or not. Okay, so yes, I uh, got a contact, contact with them, and I signed the contract. So the show would be about uh, women's, what they are doing, the women would interact with all the cast members, females. On FISA, what I heard should to be in this season too, but I spoke to her. And she told me what they agreed wasn't what she believed she would. Okay. So in the end the end up the show didn't move forward for many reasons. For example, she didn't accept to be. I believe the other cast member also say, well, I want more, I want to lie. I don't know. For different reasons, didn't work. It is kind of was like a heartbreaking right because um, you listen you... larissa loved being on the show and like i knew her, her heart was broken like i knew how much she loved being unhappily i know she much how much she loved being on the show and i knew when she got fired because the cancer that, that larissa was devastated like like yeah. and i would have been too i would have been too like you know it would because the way i got a fight for example I had other cast members that did porn. I'm not saying about it alone. I'm just saying they all person. do it, Larissa. All of yeah. them. And then I showed and I got the worst of call. And I was like, what? But how do you feel so, about that? Like, you know, even like, you know, okay, the cam soda, like, you know, and I saw your cam soda video. Like, it wasn't like, you know, it was like PG. I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't like that. I wasn't no, like it was. <laughs> Do you understand? It was like like, PG 13. Like, you know, it was like watching like uh, USA up all night. Like, you know, you saw a little jiggle and it was it. But like, you know, that's nothing compared to like what the people on OnlyFans like that are still on the show. They're still on the show. Like, you exactly. know, what Larissa did with Cam Soda is like nothing compared to like what she shouldn't, she should not have been fired over that. 
Exactly. And then I, I, it was heartbroken, guys. But that week that I got fired, hitting my bank account, just remember, I had zero, zero dollars. Oh, 1,600, zero dollars. Someone that lived here in the US for like three years, struggling, paying the attorney, send the money to Brazil. Okay. Hit my bank account. I never forget. $20,000. And my first OnlyFans payment was 20000 Swear I forgot. $20,000. And then I forgot about the show. I say, I want to be on the show? Never. But then I saw the bad part. So when we were speaking with the producers, I was telling them about this dark side, this bad side. I don't want to also influence anyone to do. People say, what well, should I do? No, don't do. You're going to pay a price high, way higher to this. Like Rita just mm-hmm. said, like I've seen all of Libby's sister's labias and they're still on the show. So we've seen every podcast vagina vagina on the show and uh you yes i i i so this was a heartbreak but then they contacted me and i say wow so i'm gonna get everything that i lost because you guys know we guys want to see who is on television right i want to see who is on television and also for example has some people that are not aware but they didn't got labeled as fired so I got a label as fire. It's different. Because why you why you got a label as fire? Because I didn't want to lie. I didn't want to say, yes, guys, next week. Oh, next month. I have a project, but I can't talk about it. No, I want to be honest and say, yes, this happened to me. So anyway, the show was about the women and everything. So I I spoke to baby daddy. I spoke with the, my parents. I spoke with the addict's friends. I spoke with the everyone that I possibly know, but end up it didn't work. But the good thing is I don't have a bad relationship with them and they don't have a bad relationship with me. Right. So it's okay. Now I'm moving forward to study. And well, we can just say, like, are you familiar with that show MILF Manor that's on TLC now? No, it's disgusting. But Wicked says, I think it's hysterical that Larissa was fired from TLC and that, but TLC comes up with MILF Manor. Seriously, like some cast members and other shows have done far worse. And like, Larissa, you got like the shitty end of the stick with that. Exactly. So I believe the, I will not, I'm not talking about you guys. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> but I believe it must have someone that don't like me there. I don't know. And I was like waiting, waiting to. <sighs> I, the only the only thing, I was the contract sign. I was contract sign. My Eric's mother will be. No, my God, it was like, I, I I don't feel sorry for me. I feel sorry for all the people around me. You know, that did so much. Like, anyway, so yeah, so this would be the show, but didn't work. But let's see, right? In future, they come back to me again. Let you know, John. <laughs> but like, I mean, you more, even like why why have they not contacted you for like the single life like you know there's exactly and, they put so, and my friend my friend also told me it's funny they put the most people that we don't want to watch though. right <laughs> i don't want to watch big ed do you like big ed i don't say do you want to watch big ed i'd rather watch larissa having fun yeah so anyway if they contact me I would not, never say never. But now, John, I want to go back to college. I want to go to Brazil to visit. Maybe I say, you know, I'm not going to be, be back anymore. Do you understand? Now I will not be waiting anymore. I'll not be waiting anymore. Like, if it happens, I'll be open to speak like I was. Okay, but I need a turning. I need the somebody that's gonna protect me do you understand like but i want to have that here like you were fired but back in like what um september of 2020 yeah. and then like was it what last year they gave you a new contract they rehired you 
he can you talk about him. that? Like, I, like, and like, you know, because I want this to be known. TLC rehired Sharp, or whatever, rehired Larissa for this for this spinoff with Anfisa, and Anfisa was holding out for more money, which is funny because Anfisa is now being listed on a new reality show that I just posted today with a bunch of other like um, reality people across all like, you know, Bravo people, uh, big brother people, survivor people, whatever. Um, but she was just listed on this cast list of a new reality show. Um, but Anfisa was holding out for more money. And like, you know, you got fucked again. Cause you got, you got rehired and exactly. no didn't go forward because the exactly. you know, but, but, and the yeah. other girl, Joe, if it was if it, if it was only it, but can you imagine it when I hear when I sign when I sign I sign. Do you know what I did? I went to did my full face because the the Botox preventive in the lips. So then I did my my hair and was just this just this two thousand seven hundred bang. Okay, then I say you know my apartment don't look too good for filming. Three thousand dollars. <laughs> Three, seven. Like I spend uh, almost like eight thousand dollars changing things, buying stuff, and the and after three months, uh, was uh, in July. They say, "I'm sorry, but the show is not going to move forward." And I say, "What? I was doing my nails. I was doing my nails." And I see everything white. And the girl, what, what's going on? And say, oh, I got a bad news. <laughs> so can you imagine? We spent this amount of money. And like you were like so excited to be back on the show again. And like you know, and it sucks for Lar you know she yes. might she's not gonna say, it, but I will say it for her. Like you know. Matt, you know, Larissa always enjoyed being on the show. She loved being on the show. She loved being a part of the show. And like, you know, she it got taken away from her. They give her like, you know, another chance. And <laughs> not because of what Larissa did, but because of others. And it, it's taken yeah. away from her again. She signed the contract. She, you know, it was, you know, a new show. And I remember Larissa, last year you told me about that. And because I asked you to go live. You go, exactly. No, I can't go live. We're filming again. Exactly. I can't. Yeah. yeah. And you know and they pulled the rug out from her again. Exactly. And then John, if they contact me one day, that one, three months, six years, I don't care. I I need a turn, take a look and protect me, because like right now, you for example, maybe I, I got extensions, maybe I do all the investments, and they can say no. It's gone, and I say what? So I want a turn protection but i'm moving forward to do not need anymore to do not wait anymore to like okay is the really now is the past in my life you know can you say how much you're making on the show see i always make good money on when it could be legally paid when it could be legally able to be paid i always make good money from I know TLC, some cast from being on the show, not not only fans. I'm talking about like what what no TLC no no from the you. show from the show from Chelsea. I always make good money when I could be paid legally. So I always make very good money. <laughs> but I I can tell because like, Listen, you know I don't want to her her ruin like another a yeah. possible contract. So. She's smart. Yeah, I, I like I say, I mean, moving she's smart forward. for not answering that one. Sorry. Yeah, yes, yeah. so I'm moving forward to do to do not wait anymore to like you know, be very good position in my life that I do my sides out only funds, but I'm studying to a better filter. So I always make a very very good money, but I know some cast members that don't don't get paid good. Yes, and I know I. some cast members that <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But they are would very you, good with me to, towards that. Would you say that TLC are like their favorites? I think he, I don't know what's going on because I don't see people say, oh, I love it this person, I love it to watch. It's, it's like people that they are dead inside, like, ah, nah, mm, make fake stories. 
like why not show my immigration process the court well, uh, they didn't make it up to lies about that us. That would be great messy this. TV, like TLC loves. Yeah. Like, that, would been, that would have been good, you know, good shit right there. Yeah. If, if, if it's that. like, John, John, for months, for months, I thought that I create this in my mind. I thought that I create this in my mind. But sometimes I read the content and say, no, you didn't. So I got disassociated to them and I got to like, Larissa, you can't let people come to your life like this anymore or you talk through attorneys or you don't do it at all because it's business and they don't like i think it i think somebody don't like me there is the only explanation and this person don't have a vision to see like well i don't like but this girl can make it a lot of money for us you understand um what about girl. like the I know it's, we're running a little longer right now, but like I have a, a couple more questions. Like, how do you feel about Carmen now? Like, you know, I, you know, I know that you guys are thick, you know, what's going on with like your situation with Carmen? Yeah. Um, I like it, Carmen. She's living in Brazil. She's a Helene. She's very supportive when I need it, but you know, I think now in my life is time for the new. For the new, you know, John, like nothing's gonna be like the past. You guys will be friends again. Like that's like you know, in the back of like I always want you and Carmen because yeah. I remember like how Carmen was there for you. I'm like I I hate that you guys. No, are she friends. was, she was, and she was a very good person. But also, it's like the same situation thing, Eric. In a sense of, okay, she did good to me. I did good too. But this don't John erase it. Sometimes bad, but the bad she did was nothing. Do you understand? Now I just say like you know, friends they argue sometimes. They like like that woman, Cynthia and Molly. They are arguing now, right? I read sometimes, and I think like, dude, she should not talk about her friend, not posting things because this is gonna hurt the person, gonna hurt the person. And how much this person's hurt, not going to be the same. Do you understand? Yeah, Cynthia and Molly is a, actually a very good, like, you know, comparison to what you and Carmen, yeah. you know, and it's just sad, like, you know, much like I, I would hope that Cynthia and Molly could work through things, and I know that's yeah. that ship has sailed, and I know that you and Carmen and that ship has sailed. Hey, but... If I could, Joe, I would send a message to her, say, hey, this was my experience, and you're going to regret, because not today you're going to talk to her, but, like, Carmen was pregnant. I dream with her every day basically do you understand so how much you are hurting molly or molly is hurting cynthia i don't know anything about the deal but i feel it's gonna be hard to come back to that same stage they were in the past do you understand but yeah, a lot of cast members don't talk to me because i'm not television i'm not saying that's molly and cynthia casey okay so i the hater just be my quiet <laughs> Yeah, it's unfortunate. Um, you know, um, lastly, like you know, I want to. I don't. Um, is it is like the situation like with the bots? Like, are is that under control now? Like, <laughs> finally, no, I, it's not a big TLC and the bots. Then I thought, what real? What happened, Joe? I had a lot of box one bots one day. They ID sixty thousand, sixty thousand. People follow me was in right after I announced that I was fighting 60,000. I'm not real people. That's a lot. That was it. Uh huh. So, how do you know? You can go online, you can see how many accounts that I did. Now it's controlled, and now I learned that. Too. So, what was my, my, my fear? Oh my God, I don't have the show. And I can lost my Instagram. How am I going to make money through my OnlyFans? But then I figured out that I don't need my account to, to make the things rolling there. So is everything good now? So it's good. No, no more worries. Like that, that's under control. Exactly. But it's something that sometimes I think was real. <laughs> I, I think like this happened, Eric. This was so goofy. <laughs>
So, so your plans for right now, like, you know, moving into the future, like, you know, are you going to stay in Colorado? I know you said, you mentioned Texas. Yeah. I think that you're best in Vegas. I think that's where you've been your happiest. But and Joy, Vanessa's there, and you talk to her every day. How am I going to date there? Nobody going to date there. It's a big city. Well, come to Jersey. Come to the East Coast. Joel. I see so many crazy people from Jersey. <laughs> that's, that's where I am. So, duh. Yeah. Come to Jersey. We I have the craziest here. Like, we can, like, we can take this on. Like, listen. So, like, I have can... a crush. I have a crush from Jersey. Me. I know it's me. And listen, <laughs> I'm married to Cody. Like, I, I listen, you know, you owe my heart. It's like, you know, I, I, I would marry you if I wasn't gay. But, you know, I'm married yeah. to Cody. <laughs> But like us East so, Coast, yeah. you don't know East Coasters. Like we're like we no. we, are, we are very different. <laughs> so Joan, what's gonna happen? I spent Joan. Do you know how was my rent in Las Vegas? Wait, two thousand seven hundred. My rent in Las Vegas was two thousand seven hundred. I know lot. it's not. I know it's not like in your state. That yeah, no, it, that's a good higher. amount of rent. Though that's a lot of rent. Exactly. So what am I going to do now? Now I'm going to. Losing my extra weight a little bit that's still here. Do my surgery. So I'm in the signs if I'm gonna do here or in Brazil, so I can stay there like three or four months. And after this, I then I'm gonna decide I want Texas, Jersey with my crush, or you know, I want to live in Missouri. Well, Missouri is different uh i hope it's st louis i guess or kansas Santa city louis. <laughs> or the other like I, because i think I there has in the middle people. of nowhere missouri missouri uh Joan, but... there has single people sing more single people that it is they don't have, have too you much been to missouri before but they are not from the farm in there but you might want to just go there before you like uh. decide you know, Idaho, you might... <laughs> Missouri, all those cities, they don't have the internet 24 hours. So they can date. Just come to Jersey. We'll take care of you here. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I'm gonna yeah. show you someone from Jersey. We got some nice, we got some like nice meatheads here for you. They'll take care of you nice. Uh but um, all right. I don't want. I want to like end this. But like, Larissa, is there anything that I haven't asked you, or like anything you want to say to everybody, like to whatever before we before we end this live? No, just to that to like you. Sorry if I block somebody here. <laughs> and uh, I'm trying to bring some awareness through the body dysmorphia. And I and think that we should really like talk more about that because, like, you know, yeah. we're all worried about you. And like the fact that like you're getting a breast reduction, like, and you know, yeah. and like that, that Larissa, that is major. Cause yeah. like, you know, after you got like your last implants, you said, no, nope, yeah. I'm going like bigger. And I said, oh my I God. Said, no. I said to you, I'm like, and I want to be like, you know, I don't want to get mad at me. Cause I'm, this you know, guy is crazy. I'm, like, Larissa, I'm like, no, you look great enough as it is. Yeah. Don't get bigger. And the fact that you're aware of that and like it just yeah. shows how far you've grown and I'm so proud and thank you, Joe. Like, you know, and, and if you guys have any friend that wants to do some crazy set, say to them, no, look, talk to this girl Larissa. <laughs> She's gonna tell I I I I'm trying to find a way how can I give back to people. YouTube, where, where, how can I can I do a YouTube channel about it? it? Yeah, I think I should. Everybody keep saying. Like, I think you should. I, I will. I will. And, I will and show it. the 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 reduction. How it's gonna be? I'm so happy. Like like I like I'm just so like I'm so surprised and like you know, yeah. like you were amazing. Uh, you Thank are amazing, you and I can't wait to see all the good that you do. And I'm so happy that you have your, your residency, and, like, you're good, and you can travel. And, like, it seems like for the first time in a long time, you've really gotten everything together. And, like, you know what you who you are, what you're about, and mm -hmm. what you're going to do. I just need to find my pet and live in the good terms. If you're good terms, I mean, no police, no arguments. Online. No arrest. Just no like, ice. Okay. 
and she froze at like the worst moment. So there she goes. She'll come back. Am I frozen? No, it's Larissa. Uh oh, there she is. Okay, <laughs> okay John. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Back here. Thank you guys so much, Larissa. Thank you. You are always welcome here. You are beautiful, and I love you. Thank and you too, um, John. everybody, have a great night. I'll see you when I see you next. Goodbye. Bye.